Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be telling you a story. First things, I love telling stories so much. I'm not a very good storyteller, but I love telling stories. They're so much fun. Oh, it's just, I get to share a part of my life without you having to be there. And stories are just so great and so wonderful. Why wouldn't you tell stories? So on this channel, I'm gonna be telling you guys a lot of stories because for some reason a lot of things happen to me and I don't know why but it's so much fun to talk about and I can't wait to share all of my wacky, weird, stupid stories with all of you. So this year over spring break I was lucky enough to be able to bring one of my closest friends to Florida. I have family over there and they're like oh yeah you can stay here it should be fun. So, you know, we, ha we had a lot of fun, they have a pool, we could go down to the beach whenever, um, we shared a room, we would have like those 3am nights every night, especially like time zones and everything. It's fun. In my room, there are two beds, so one night we were just like, what if we just push the beds together, like logical solutions, so we could have those late night conversations without like yelling across the room. So we push the beds together and out from under the bed is this cockroach. But it's not that big. But to us it is because we are both terrified of bugs. Oh my god. You would not believe how long it took us to finally get rid of that thing. So it's like 2am and you have these two girls pretty much screaming upstairs over this maybe, maybe a bug like this big. It's not big, but oh my god, it was awful. So first we were like, what if we throw a shoe at it? We had to rein in the bug before we could kill it. And this bug, it was going everywhere. It wanted to get on the wall. It wanted to get under the bed and into, it wanted to get into like our suitcases and we were not having it. So we were like, hey, what if we bang a shoe on this side and then we can try to lure the bug out of the corner into the open so we can throw a shoe at it. So after like half an hour of finally getting the bug out into the open, we just kind of threw a shoe at it. That was not our smartest plan because I don't know if you guys have ever tried to kill a really small cockroach, but those suckers are impossible to kill. So at one point we're like, okay, what if we put on the shoe and we step on it? So my friend, she stepped on it while I was like waiting by with like this massive wad of toilet paper so we could like get it out. So she stepped on it and then we thought it was dead. And she lifted her foot back up and the bug starts moving again that's that's when everything went out the window so we pretty much screamed ran into the bathroom which is like on the other side of the room and then we were like we calm we finally calmed down and we thought of a way to approach this logically and let me tell you it was not that logical what we did was she gave me a piggyback ride and then we would step on it again to see if more weight would help. More weight did not help. It was eventually, it still didn't die. I don't think, I think it's still alive. I think it's out to get me personally. We're stepping on this cockroach, but it's not dying. So like every 30 seconds, we would like lift up the foot and see if anything was under there. And it was always still moving. Two of us did not kill this bug and we were so done. At this point, it's like somewhere between 3 and 4 a.m. We're pretty tired and we want to go to bed, but we know that there's a bug in the room and we could not sleep. So at one point, she jumped on the bug with all of her might and then I kind of had this pretty much a whole roll of toilet paper in hand and then I grabbed it and then we flushed it in the toilet and all of this happened within like 30 seconds. For some reason we didn't think of it earlier but it was horrifying. So it's finally something like 4 or 4.30 a.m. and we're finally able to get to sleep but, but then we started thinking about like what if this bug had kids in the room and like what if they all come out to get us at night so we didn't get to sleep till pretty late but it was a very good bonding experience for us i mean i had a lot of fun on that trip apart from the bug that bug kind of ruined it for me it was a good trip overall it's just i do not do all the bugs so if you liked this video if you liked this video and you would like to hear more videos kind of like this 
about me freaking out over bugs. You can follow my Twitter, my Tumblr, and my Instagram. This is the part where I'm going to sensually stroke my thigh again. It's uncomfortable for all of us, but I find it entertaining. So I'm going, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop. Subscribe. I am overqualified for your subscription. Wow, isn't this such an uncomfortable sound? Subscribe. It's the subscribing thigh. Alright, 